come on, just one little thing. Really? Not even Chris, not even braised Chris ribs on a bed of mock apple leaves? No, no, we don't. W why are you doing this? Please stop. I've been asking myself that for a long time. Grizzles Rangers mascot is... The fuck you want about Sam? Um, Yoka? There is such a thing as too clean. We ought to break open a few bottles and have some fun. Make a mess. Live a little. I think that's at least our concerns right now. Why the hell is our mascot standing in the bedroom? Hello. Up. Oh, sweet shimmering law. Where'd you come from? Sorry. Uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not what it looks like. You're not shifting through Halcyon Helen's panty drawer? <laughs> um, intimidate. Give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. Yeah, what do you mean, where did I come from? This is my room. Easy, friend. No need to get violent. There are as many reasons to spare my life as there are flavors in Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. Not really. I'll give you two reasons. First, I am a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Enterprise. And I give a damn? And secondly, I'm just here doing a job for a VIP. Mascot's honor. Uh, huh? What kind of job? I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie. The Holemeister, the hack attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message. Something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. Uh, you're out of luck? I found it already. It's pretty incriminating. You found the recording? Oh, well, that's just... That's just sweeter than a fistful of purple berry punch. <laughs> oh, law, Bertie's gonna slaughter me like a woolly cow. Will you meet me later over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Um... Not really? I don't plan to go meet you somewhere else, because you'll probably be dead if the stereotypes keep up. But also, bottom of your employment contract? Is there such a thing? Uh, no. Tell me what you know now, or you'll... Or they'll be rid of your remains out of the mascots. I... what? But I don't... I can't? Please don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The uh, pilot house complex. Mean? Meet me there, and I'll tell you everything, I swear. Uh, no, you're gonna... Stop him! Did he just dematerialize? What the hell just happened? I'm not sure he was working for Black Old Birdie. I think he was just a pervert. Hello. Ooh. The Productivity Queen tracked down the profit of profitability. That's a tongue twister. Helen, I don't understand why you... Why, you and I must be enemies. Are we not both branches on the same tree of privilege? You command audiences with your masterful performance on the Aether Waves, and I command the attention of our corporate leaders. We're both cultural icons with a responsibility to set a good example. I'm disappointed to discover that you've betrayed my seminars publicly and on official records. I take particular un... un better um umbrage in your characterization of my most recent seminar spearheading your project how to monetize your workforce you how to motivate your workforce using ancient weaponry as i as a and i quote nonsensical vanity project from a dyed in the wool buffoon the fuck does dyed in the wool mean these are fighting words except Expect to hear from my personal auditor soon. <laughs> oh, I mean, I guess that's still a fight. There's nothing in, of real interest. Ooh, there 
audio rock. Oh, the harder we go wrong. Oh, Lola, I'm so sorry. That didn't mean for... <laughs> Well, that was pathetic. Okay, uh, missions. Man who crafted, speak to Go Dr. Goodnight. Dr. Goodnight. Oh, the one doctor. And what's up, Doc? Uh, oh, hey, Alan. Nothing on your corpse. Uh, hey, Doc. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Lovely, okay. <laughs> Would you mind washing your hands before you give me anything? Oh, don't be so squeamish. You won't find any viscera under my fingernails. I trimmed them just this morning. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's well. any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich hmm. complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. Was that But mean? now I'm not so sure. Someone's always who trained to poison Owen. Sure wasn't just the hotel food. The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach oh. and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no, I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. You did what? I did science. You know, my profession. I think you need a psychiatrist. <laughs> uh, so someone was trying to poison her? Almost certainly. Poorly, if well, they were. possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. Close enough. Okay, I should go speak with him. Conversations with Mr. Woolrich tend to spontaneously transform into monologues. You'll find him on the VIP guest floor. I'd best return to work, Inspector. Autopsies always whet my appetite, and all this talk of food is distracting me. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, cannibal. Okay, uh, let's go speak to Woolrich then. Also, engineers? What do I need? Oh, uh, I probably can't get up to the VIP guest floor. And also, <laughs> if he starts monologuing, he won't get through the second line before I shoot him dead. And just pick the answers off his corpse. The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. Does it? It's a pleasure to see you again. Oh, How may you I be too. of assistance to you, Inspector? Uh, do you have happy endings at this hotel? Um, I need access to the VIP guest floor. I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. You're gonna stand in the way of a murder investigation bribe? I'm not sure I have that many bits. <laughs> uh, persuade, the only guests who would have a problem with me being up there would be the murderer. I'm... Not gonna intimidate her. That's not fair. Hmm. <laughs> She's been good, good to point. me. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just yes, set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. Lovely. I thought the penthouse was clean for my stay, but it's a pigsty. Oh my. Well, that is certainly odd and alarmingly unacceptable. Allow me to check the service records. Ah, yes. Not to worry, Inspector. It was indeed cleaned for you. Except for the evidence, which is all of Helen's stuff. That makes sense. Okay, thank you. What the hell are you looking at? I figured that out on my own. Don't give me that look. I know what I'm doing. Mostly. The brochure never uh, VIP. Hello, Mr. Woolbridge. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, 
Unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> I'm gonna paint those You've mannequins with right your brains. You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. What the hell? Um. Yeah, sure. Yo, you, you, you wouldn't harm an old man at the end of his wits, would you? I uh, have. I'm confused, disoriented. Don't care. I may have even soiled myself. Ew. Wait. If you're armed, that must mean you're not with the hotel staff. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. This what gave that curious, away? Yes, indeed. Who are you? And how did you get in here? Um, <laughs> just Marauder knows some movements are gonna take everything not tied down. What a quaint claim. You're so adorable. I won't even call security. No, really, I mean it. What? You've most certainly endeared yourself to me. And I think I know why you're here. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. If you lay a hand on me, you're gonna die a really painful death. How about you sign this? I'd be delighted. Oh, damn. My pen's out of ink. You're an idiot. I'll just get you a portrait of my face as a souvenir. I'm sorry, what? I'm sure I have the prints around here somewhere. By the by, how? Did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh, no uh, kidding. Oh, <clears throat> hello. You're a dull, dull man, aren't you? <clears throat> uh, hi. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. I understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Pain, the absolute picture of justice. <laughs> Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. I can strain out a few bones that are meant to be straight if you want. <laughs> then you'll definitely give me a straight answer. Uh... I hear you were poisoned. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. I'm sorry, what? Can you think of anyone other than the chef? Why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. I mean, I guess that's one reason to die of poison. Um, can you think of anyone else who would want to harm you? Before I indicate that Bellamy was also poisoned, I believe we should try and get some further answers. None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Couldn't tell. According to the coroner, Helen was also poisoned. Know anything about that? How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Helen... wasn't killed by the poison. I want to say nothing, but 
based on that alone, I'm starting to think he may not have done it. Oh. Oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. I can tell. And a poor one at that. I, that's all I wanted to know, Very though. well, then. Poisoning. Ask you about the murder. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. No, you can't How have a lawyer. How was it that Bellamy met her end? You don't get to know. Uh, shot. She was poisoned and shot with plasma. Painfully, I'd say. How? How awful. Whoever did this must have been quite heartless. Like yourself? Um... Did you know Helen well? Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. I have no clue what half of that was. Must not have been too flattering. Are we starring alongside a young actress? A beautiful oh, one it at wasn't. that. And don't think I haven't picked up on your tone. What tone? Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. You could have paid someone to do it. Um, where were you at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Meditating. Got anyone that can corroborate that? Respectfully, Inspector. It is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. Did anyone see you meditating? All actors have their methods. And this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. There's the second time. The unemployed cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Ouch. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. Enough to kill her? That's the second time she's come up, so we're definitely gonna have to look into that. How long have you worked with the Prophet? Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial. The unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. Oh, I will. Trust me, I will. Okay, back to the other questions. I'll answer whatever you wish. All right. Theoretically speaking, how would you have killed the victim? Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. What reputation? Isn't that going down the... Toilets? Okay. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. It's never enough on that grim subject. Don't care who you are. Go. Oh, more about the poison. Must I relive? But I suppose... Uh, my mission hasn't updated, so I... Yes, who are you exactly? I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. I don't really pay attention to them. I think you see your name around. You were the guy in that one, uh, serial. Um, never heard of you. Uh, that really haven't. Be. You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Did you ever see me in the Masked Marketeer? The Busker of Byzantium? What about episodes 13 and 190 of Princess of Hephaestus? 
And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts and a woman with no talent. Do you have a problem with women? Also, I've been asleep for the past, like, 80 years. I have no clue what's been going on in the colonies. I woke up, like, two months ago, and half that time I've been killing. I haven't had time to watch any Aether Wave. What can I say? I've led a charmed life. Though, of course, the majority of the charm has originated from me. I'm sure. Okay. Uh. Ah. So it poisons me. Okay, so our mission did update. Did I just completely miss it? <laughs> I guess I'm not paying much attention. Uh, I need to go speak with the what chef. More would you like to I do not want to know what the hell they hide in the basement. Hello, chef. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Hang on, chef. My talking magnifying glass signals... Something wrong? Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup. Approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Game, you know me so well. Stop! Performing scan. Gaslight appears to have gone out some time Damn ago. Damn it! Chance of explosive combustion without gaslight, 0.01%. Pravetta, you got a lighter? Fine, I'll stop trying to blow this place sky high. Uh, hello, chef. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. I'm oh. sorry, what? Don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. Um, <laughs> why are you talking about food? Don't you care about the crime that just occurred? Ah, uh, no smoked sprats? What about purple berry glazed cannon flake steaks? I, weren't you listening? We're reserved solid for the next month. I'm sorry, but you'll really need to order in advance. Oh, come on. You can prepare me a little something. I understand. Just some woolly cheese curds with fried nanners, and I'll stop asking. I is this some kind of a joke? We're not able to take on new orders at this time. I told you. Oh, come on. Just one little thing. Really? Not even Chris... <laughs> Not even braised Chris ribs on a bed of mock apple leaves? No, no, we don't. W why are you doing this? Please stop. I've been asking myself that for a long time. Can I eat ketchup? Here, just take it. Just take it and don't ask me for anything ever again. God, I piss people off wherever I go. I love that. I'm here to investigate Halcyon Owen's murder. You're, you're the inspector? Here? Why... I, I mean, you may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Okay. Do you prepare all of Helen's meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. So you did poison her. Oh. Oh, my law. This is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous. But I didn't heed her warnings. Pardon? Okay, okay. I wasn't the one who did it. But I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Whoa. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Okay. Why should I believe anything you're saying? I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera! It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything! Will it? Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. I have a feeling I was gonna give her a visit anyways. Uh, 
professional and pleasure related visits. <laughs> Why are you so invasive about leaving Helen's food unattended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? I'm the definition of a breach of professionalism. Ooh, persuade. If you tell me the truth, I might be more inclined to believe the rest of what you say. Well, I suppose that's as good a point as any I've heard. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Ah. So you're going down the line that so many chefs do. Uh, what was Spencer Roach doing? Whoop. Bellop Owens, what was he doing? Yes, there? but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. I know the kind. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens I don't might be know. back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Well, when I have to wait for things to get murderous, so I'll probably have to go out there myself. What was Woolrich doing here? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. Ah. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. I can tell. Though, don't tell him I said as much. If you What's wish to speak do? with him, <laughs> Mr. Woolrich can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. Oh, I already know that. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. Maybe. Okay, Woolrich, well, why did you... Cunts... I don't have to go speak with Woolrich? I have to go find the bellhop. Okay, fine. Let's go find the bellhop then. I guess right now, nothing there provides us any indication as to why. Maybe we should go talk to security first. Oh, no. Don't you look at me. Yep. Yeah, keep going for him. Come on, come on. Don't see me. Don't see me. Yep. Enjoy your dinner. Have fun with that. <laughs> Never said I was a kind person. <laughs> I don't save people. Mm, Bellop? Bellop Owens? Hello? Okay. Nope, I'm good. Don't you do it. Here we go. Speak with Bella Pollens? Wait, yeah, what? I shot a bird! Oh. Well, Owens is in a particular state. Invoice. A list of guests, special crest, some drinks, some food items. Fresh predatory bile gland for one Spencer Woolrich. That's a level up. And some answers? I think. I'm not sure that's actually answers or just a, something of concern. Sure. Take a shovel. <gasps> Shit. Not interested in the birds. Have fun! I mean, I agree with you, just maybe not in the way you think. Um, hello? Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and... Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport. Wow. I didn't 
even have to threaten a single person. Okay. Didn't expect it to be that easy. Where is spaceport? How curious. Take that. I. Uh, Pardon? I think we're about to be mysteriously assailed. How does that mean? Coming in closer and you'll du hey, die. Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean slug. Been okay. real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't That's you? That's my job. See, slug light underground don't like that much. <laughs> Was I investigating you? If you had anything you? to do with sublight, you'd have started shooting about 12 words ago. Should have kept your I'll nose agree with her. Belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. I Our affairs, touch I mean. your affairs. Whip. Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! I haven't been looking into you guys. Okay, I'm an inspector fella. Stick your, sticking my nose where it does belong is my job. Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. Am I? <laughs> are, is that a promise? Charm, you're really not slug, are you? It's okay, you can tell me. <laughs> what? Charm? I've never... I must be close to being able to get it. It's gotta be, have something to do with my crew. Your slug... You're saying Slug asked me to investigate and now wants me dead? Uh, quick everyone, get him! What? I was just using logic! You know what we've been through together? Like, not a single one of you can actually stand against us. Your jokes! You know I have superpowers, right? It's an incredibly bad idea on your parts. Hit note. Crumpled notes bearing neat even handwriting and signed the Mitir? Mi mi Mioka? Uh, no, Pareta. Do you know what the hell that word is? Because <laughs> I don't. Uh, got a job for anyone with a ready gun hand and empty pockets. There's an inspector looking into the murders of House Young Helen. My client wants you to cross them off. Don't worry about subtlety. Facts, don't be subtle. Just make sure that... Make sure that once you agree to a job, you visit the rear mont's buy a bunk, put on the uniforms you'll find folded beneath the mattresses. After that, feel free to cause a ruckus. Forty grand, Jesus. Can I, uh, can I sign up? Well, your little plan didn't work out all that well. Reminds hey, me of Rose. Just a bit. That's uh, the shop at Edgewater, right? Hello, shopkeep. Hello. Welcome to Aridano's Dry Goods and Sundry, the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. Doesn't surprise I'm me. Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. I was wondering how you pronounce that word. You said your title was Marketeer, right? Ever referred to yourself as Marketeer? Oh, I see you've read some of my poems. Very clever, Inspector. Yes, my pen name is the Marketeer, though I also use it in certain business dealings. Like Wait hip jobs? Why do you ask? You know, I came here interested in simply finding my <laughs> buying ammunition. I I need ammunition for my gun, you see. But um you just had to say that, didn't you? Hey now, hey, uh, let's all be reasonable here. Says the man who I'm put just a hit on man. me. None of this was my idea. Occasionally, jobs requiring discretion arrive here from the hotel. Always anonymous and always lucrative. For a sizable cut, I set these jobs up and ask no questions. Somebody sent me a note telling me they wanted you dead. I don't know who and I don't know why. I swear. You really, really should... You really, really should have looked into who you were trying to kill. You were hired by an anonymous note to hire someone else by an anonymous note? Yeah, of course. It's called a paper trail. I thought you didn't want a, a paper credit. trail. I'm a professional. I've got to have some standards. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen? You're going to pay me, then I'll walk away. Of course. Here. Terribly sorry for all this, Inspector. 
I'll certainly owe you in the future. One problem, Dempsey. Even though you paid me, even though the people are dead who tried to kill me, you're still partially responsible for that. And if you don't know who I am, let me explain. I was put into a hypersleep because of some assholes decided not to rescue my colony ships. And when I woke up and found that 80 years had passed and I was left for dead, you want to know what the first thing I did was? I killed a man who worked for these people. He worked for them. He had no clue who I was. He had no clue what happened to me. He simply worked for them. And I killed him. And you know what I did next? I trekked all across these colonies, hunting down every last one of the people responsible for what happened to me. If you don't recognize the fact that I am a dedicated person to taking revenge against those even halfway responsible for my precarious situation, even if they simply work for them, did you really think you were going to walk away from this alive? I'm not a quaint person. I don't take kindly to being tried. Uh, hello there. Greetings, non-criminally associated individual. Uh. Your Rizzo's constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic hey. processes are currently suspended were they ever At moving present, to begin with criminal reports do not require paperwork please lament only in marked lamentation zones please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments if you continue to speak like that I'm going to remove your damn circuits. I need to acquire the Grand Colonial security footage. All requests for security footage require a nominal compulsory bribe. Uh, what? Is that acceptable? <laughs> Did you just outright ask me to bribe you? Even if it wasn't for the fact I could simply kill you and take it off your corpse, I'm not gonna bribe you. Uh... But... Error. Bit processing unit has been removed. Temporarily surpassing bit fee request. Funds will be requested from Rizzo's leadership. <laughs> with interest at a later date. Be oh, delivering footage. Thank you for your patronage. If you would like a wine recommendation to pair with that footage please submit the requisite request forms is there any other assistance this unit may provide do you have a better speech module please for the love of god no uh what can i steal though love that not non-criminally associated as if i haven't taken and stolen every Please stop. God. I can hate that. What was this? Um. Hey, constable. Someone's dead. Oh. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. What are you getting upset about? Uh, who is that? Discrepancy detected nearby. Am I supposed to know who this is? Aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keane, uh, formerly so the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. No signs of life detected. Maria no kidding. Keen is survived by no known relatives. That's a problem. Precision handgun. These small wounds. She looks like she was shot in the head and neck. Yeah, I see little cartridges on the ground. Um. Guess pressure finally got to her. Unlikely. The nature of these wounds rule out the possibility of suicide. Multiple puncture wounds detected along the frontal bone and between the clavicle. Furthermore, that was, that the mean. location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. I can tell that. I can see it on the floor. Need some case. You know, some casing on the ground. Some ammunition. 
Amplifier. Ballistics and allos. Entry and exit wounds described. Ammunition of remarkably small caliber. The attacker was at close range, likely within a firing range of 1.5 meters. Hmm. Make a note. Make whoever did this pay. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. I didn't Badger even know who he was. Activated. We'll find this rat bastard responsible, Inspector. Jesus Christ. So another one down. Everyone bites at us. Who's next? Me? Okay, so... I'm gonna go speak with Spencer Woolrich again. I'm guessing the security footage gave us something. I don't actually know how to look at it. I don't know if we can look at it. Oh, Woolrich. Where are you? You got some explaining to do. You're here. I hope you have the Photon Proto Distributor, or we're never leaving this damn facility. That was from the Twin Spies. I played a sentient mechanical. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Straight as I can shoot? Um, I learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. Not really the words of a guilty man. I have security footage of you tampering with Ellen's me. Why, actually, why did you want the bio gland? What? Well, that damn bellhop promised discretion. Well, I mean, he's dead, know, so. It's, um, an appetite suppressant. How do you think I keep my form so live? Terror ray glands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. Uh, um. I've never heard of that. You sure you're talking about terror rays? Their bits tend to give folks the runs. <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm firing my nutritionist this instant. Fair enough. I would too. I forget sometimes on one end we got a advanced engineer who keeps our bucket of bolts running. And on the other end, we have Nioka, a avid hunter and our specialist when it comes to anything crawly, furry, fuzzy, bitey. I have security, I have security footage of you tampering with Helen's meal. Tampering? No, no, no. I just happened to be passing through the kitchen and saw a dish that looked good. If being hungry is a crime, you better indict three-fourths of Halcyon. Try four-fourths. Mm. If the pituitary gland was an appetite suppressant, you wouldn't be hungry if you took it. You just contradicted yourself. Oh, uh, well, there's... Maybe I just wanted to see what was in it. Oh, la. What a pathetic defense. You're telling me. As it so happens, I may not have had the terror ray gland acquired for personal use. I, I may have placed it in Bellamy's meal. For what reason? But before you indict me, please, just listen. I wasn't trying to kill her. So you lied about being poisoned? Lie is such a strong word. But even if I had chosen to poison myself, the danger should have been minimal. Terror ray glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy, as if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum vodka. Jesus. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die, and even then it would be an extended, arduous process. You, yeah, you really seem like a toxicologist, or maybe you played one on the throids. No, really, you must listen. I wasn't trying to kill Bellamy. I only wanted her to be incapacitated during the brown unveiling. With her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. Is Please that think right? twice about telling the administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, what's left of my career will be left in shambles. Son of a bitch. He didn't do it. 
he genuinely thinks the poison killed Bellamy because we didn't inform him of otherwise. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll flip a bit cartridge. You did try and poison her. A bit cart? You're going to place my future well-being on whichever way a bit cart lands? I... I cannot believe this. Fine. I hope it falls in my favor. Knowing my luck, it would. Crap. Well... That's one answer, or non-answer found. Uh, well, there goes one of my suspects. Who else do I got? Uh, Prince of Tossball. Let's go investigate him before we go speak into the administrator. What floor would you like to visit? Maybe you'll be able to give me some information that can point me back into the right direction? So, at this point, we've cleared Woolrich. Have we cleared anyone else? I can't remember the last episode. It's been a little bit since I recorded that episode. So, cleared Woolrich. That's one down, I guess. Um, I'm allowed to go in here. I have over all access. Well... I mean, I expected it, but at the same time, crap. Okay, let's see what you got. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. Does it actually say that? Uh, puncture wounds near his collarbone. I have fine. I'm having trouble finding an exit wound. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Firearms, not a conventional weapon either. I'm not good with firearms, am I? analysis complete. This mascot was likely killed by small arms fire at close range. The firearm is unique and does not exist in this unit's database. Though, so does that mean small caliber ammunition? I've... Smallest caliber caliber I've ever seen these wo small wounds unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry no Closest kidding approximations are one incident involving a game of darts two the needler the waterler the needler yes inspector the needler the spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen famously oh. deployed by Halcyon Helen in terror on monarch this weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. <laughs> That's not surprising. Damn. Okay, so it's a killer again, just like in the labs. Amplifier, before we go, do you think he'd miss his outfit? This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. <laughs> this unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. You suck. Uh oh, take his things, it's potential evidence. Glance over your shoulder if anyone's watching, then reach down and remove the mascot's gear. Ah, how lovely. And I'll take the head. Oh yeah, that. I noticed it when I walked in. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. I thought it was perfume. Residue detected. Uh, science high concentration of ethanol. Someone's brewing moonshine with antiseptics. That feels like it's... Worse than normal. Sure, taste it. Sharp, bitter, burns on your tongue. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable everything. organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. That makes sense. So, we're going back to the Piraea? Find Birdie at the spaceport. Why are we finding Birdie? I think I've missed something there, but okay. You know what? We may have known that Birdie was somewhere around the spaceport, and that's where the liquid's from, and now the mascot's dead. Okay, yeah, that's not that far-fetched. Uh, oh, I'm not walking. 
My legs already hurt from enough walking today. That's a lot of containers. Jesus, it's yeah. It's just a distribution center, or you think they're planning something? You want me to know? <laughs> I'm not actually an investigator. Why are you asking me? Who am I supposed to know? Buy a bunk, huh? I think I'll stick to my cabin. Thanks. Yeah, a lot cozier. Hello, hey, Bertie. Are you wearing that stupid hat? What do you want? Uh, you're black hole birdie, right? Not so loud. I didn't say it that know loud. It was me. Besides the face, the hat, the outfits, and the fact that I have it on good authority, you should be here. I'm an inspector and a damn good one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. Not really. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low, you know. Incompleto. Incompleto? What the? You mean incognito, you twit? Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of neato. Oh, what's it matter? Oh, Jesus. Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. That makes two of us. Ian Bright was always Helen's thing. That makes two of us. <laughs> Maybe I can help. I was hired to solve her murder. Oh, so you're the inspector. I said you that. You have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some Bloody questions, hell. huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions so you can find Helen's killer. Yeah. So, uh, how do I help? I mean, before I get started on the questioning, I should let you know anyone I've questioned thus far about her murder has a tendency to end up uh, dead. Uh, via the hands of the needler, so uh, maybe just watch out for anyone slinging it? Um, where were you the night Helen died? Uh, yeah, where were you the night Helen died? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. Blotto? What? You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved? Luger, Not a clue. Half shot. Void lush. On the Byzantine swizzle. Starry. One bit down, three bits up, spread across the spectrum. Top heavy. Should I go on? I think I get the idea, but, uh, repeating myself, what? Drunk, Captain. Thank you. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. So... I didn't get to see all of this. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? What? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh Did to get her drunk. Did you tip it? One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her what what you steal a cow for and more importantly what did you do with it i don't know we were drunk and we made bad choices who doesn't she was all alone uh, i know how that feels now it's so hard to be all by your lonesome I'm my memory's a little you. muddled after that i guess me and the team got split up because i know i was on my own at the pilot house for a time where are you? Can anyone from the pilot house back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? Okay. She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. And did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. Okay. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble heard it before Thing is it was real dark out there so dark she couldn't tell who i was so sigh wearily i wasn't keen on conversing okay I, I was drunk and holding someone else's data pad and also maybe i was crying a little so i booked it 
Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. I have no clue what you're talking about. But as well, so... The only person who possibly could have ID'd you somewhere other than Helen's vicinity... Can now not ID you because of your actions. Did anyone else see you that night? Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. I don't give two dams if you got a mistress or not. I would have to be dead not to realize that's a lie. Can we pretend I didn't mention that? Not really. I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. I've committed s many, many felonies, killed half a dozen... No, not even half a dozen. A few hundred people, and I brought the colony to its knees. Like, there's not much trouble you can get in when you're hanging around me. What do you think, Parvetta? Up for a little good inspector, bad inspector? <laughs> ah, good one, Captain. Oh, you're serious? Yep. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Are you sure? Absolutely. Ah, free fight determination. Your serial hero shaking down dissidents. Um. Come on, give it your best shot. Oh, fine. I'll do my best. Come there's on. nothing. <clears throat> Look, Mr. Black Hole, sir. If you know anything about Ms. Helen's death, you need to tell us. Because the cap, the inspectors, Real determined to hunt the killer down, and you seem like a real kind-hearted man, and I'd hate to see you get caught up in this mess. Um, I apologize, ma'am, but I'm confused. I thought your boss was the good inspector. I am. Sorry, I messed up, didn't I? It's fine. You you did your best. Crack your knuckles and glare at Bertie. Don't worry, I'll take it from here. All right, I get the idea. Jeez. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I use to calm down. I'm sorry, what? Your bookie? Murderous confident? Secret par paramour with whom you had a total affair? Confidant is like confidence. What's torrid mean? I don't know. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Oryx's not a bad guy. He's just... Got an unusual job. So now so you have I. the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and a hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Yeah, <laughs> no, trust me, you probably will. Jeez, you're having a bad time. Any advice for next time, Nokia? She's a professional drinker, I should test. I found her drunk and passed out on the floor many times. Sure. Get yourself a bit of taro blood, whisk it in a bowl with an egg and crushed caffeinoid, hold your nose and drink it straight. Uh, and the next time you drink, avoid the darker stuff. I'll, uh, have to think about that one, ma'am. Chelsea, anyway, she's good at it. You uh, ought to take Helen's data pad. Oh. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding her notes. Unlikely. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said, being bright was Helen's thing. Thanks. Take a look. It's still a gap in your timeline, Birdie. I'm not sure a blackout will cut it. I know. I know that. But you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. She could preserve me in Spectrum Brown, and I wouldn't even look at her funny. Hm. I want to help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And... Be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. Doubtful. I've trekked across this galaxy, faced the most dangerous creatures and beings anywhere in the colonies. <laughs> I'm, uh, jaded to intimidation. Sorry, Bertie, it's better if you're not involved. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Not particularly. Okay, let's go confirm his alibis. Do you have to stand so goddamn close? We're tits to tits at this point. See, Peretta knows. Back off a little bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I randomly lash out in murderous rages. You really want to be that close to me? Hey, pal. 
over here. Hello, you hey dark there. mysterious figure. You're looking to unwind, friend. Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time. Uh, Maybe not you're looking for a hooker. Something a little better than beer or Adreno. Oh, something you're with back, a little man. more kick. Um, better than beer? Bold claim, I know, but I wouldn't lie to you, friend. Not the your name's friend. Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances, and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I get that. I know. Idea. I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the anti Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture, not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Really? Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. Okay. Good for you. I got some questions. Wait. You ain't a sheriff, right? Sort you of. You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I don't. I'm a freelance inspector brought in to investigate the death of Helen. I don't think I have jurisdiction here. What makes you think I'm a sheriff? I'm just a woman looking for answers. If I plan to arrest you, you'd be in jail by now. Can't argue with that logic. No, you can't. Yeah, I know, Bertie. What do you want to know? Just an alibi. Heard you tell him some breathing techniques? Yeah, that was me. Bertie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Okay. What? How do you know Bertie? He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. Okay. What for? He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. And then you throw Fair him enough. playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Yes, when a man gets hit in the head with a toss ball. What do you mean? Not interested in that one. Let's move on. Yeah. Damn Just seeing an alibi. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Interesting. So he was with you when she was killed. Well, that's another suspect down. And my list of possibilities is becoming ever slimmer. Hey, you know what? Maybe my original theory was right. Maybe Helen isn't dead. Maybe she faked her death. And now is... See, when I go past the faked her death part, I really don't know because I haven't got a motive or a reason for her want wanting to fake her death. It just doesn't make sense. Need the top floor, sweetheart. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. Where the finest ass in the house currently sits. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk to this prick again. Inspector. I've just received word that Constable Keene is dead. Yep. Please tell me it isn't true. Uh, lie. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about that. No, I can't imagine you'd be aware. It all happened so quickly. Halcyon Helen, Leora Blossom, Maria Keene. There's a murderer on the loose, Inspector. You must stop them. What do you think I'm doing? I don't I'm have doing? Maria to count on anymore, so I'm counting on you. What do you think I'm doing? Uh, whoever murdered her used the needler. So you were at the scene of the murder? I preferred if you didn't lie about these details. A lie about whatever was I want among to. among Helen's belongings. Whoever stole it must have been able to slip in and out of the hotel. Presumably. Maria was my sole representative in Cedric's territory. The entire hotel staff is on his payroll. Any one of them could have killed her on his behalf. You're really shoving this off to someone else. Why was she so important to you? Maria devoted her entire life to our vision. She was absolutely committed to our company, to our project. I promised myself I'd reward her after we launched Spectrum Brown. 
I'd make sure she was comfortable for the rest of her life. She was also our voice of reason. She was sensible, and I appreciated her advice. I never got to tell her that. Hmm. Just change the topic. What can I do for you? New reporter thinks I managed to track down Bertie. I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. And yet, explainable. Unfortunate suspicious isn't a good look. It's only of a character, but he's harmless. I feel bad for him. Try not to feel too bad for him. Bertie is a brilliant athlete. The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. Jesus Christ, just say what you really think about him. Lost the love of his life. I don't understand what it was that Helen saw in Bertie. Whatever it was, she seemed to trust him implicitly. He was always on his best behavior around her. Or he tried. I'm not Fair a enough. heartless man, Inspector. I know that losing Helen must have shaken Bertie to his core. Yeah. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Bertie killed Helen? I think he'd throw himself off the edge before he actually killed her. The rest of the guy pinned some charges on him. Move <laughs> on. Um, I really don't. Ah, I'm relieved to hear that. I happen to be something of a fan of the hack attack. Of what? I need to see him processed for murder, but we need to be absolutely sure. I'd like I you to damn continue well your am. investigation. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. Uh, by the way, Birdie agreed to stay at the Grand Colonial. Yes, I believe he did. I appreciate that. I was only I'd rather keep attention. Birdie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. Fair enough. If you are through investigating Birdie, I recommend looking into Cedric Tincannon. He's been entirely too comfortable since we began this investigation. I don't trust Cedric when he's comfortable. I don't trust anyone when they're comfortable, especially when a murder just happened and three more have subsequently occurred. <laughs> Uh, two more. Yeah, two more. Does one guy I killed count? I killed a lot of people. Oh, also, I investigated her poisoning. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. I do, Mr. Woolrich. Yeah. Um. Poisoner was none other than Owens. Bell Hop Owens. Recently deceased, at least according to my latest report. Yep, unfortunate. I wonder what compelled Owens to poison Helen. Professional jealousy, gross incompetence. I suppose we'll never know. In any case, I have a lot of paperwork ahead of me. I'll need to give Mr. Owens a posthumous reprimand. I'd like posthumous. you to continue Ooh. investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. Yep. Oh, I can make an accusation now. Hey, Jesus Christ! I get it! I leveled up. Interesting. So now, Lord of Blight, I can name. Uh, no. Unfinished accusation. So I can name a murderer now. But. I don't think we're gonna. We still have Cedric to look at, we have the Queen of Profitability. And I think I'll take some time next episode to investigate the pool and the Watchmen because they could lead me to something. Even if they're not necessarily going to lead me to the murderer, they could give me some hints because it is suspicious. All things considered that these things occur around the same time Miss Bellamy got uh, done in. Even though I don't think she actually did get done in. I think she faked her death. But that's besides the point. My opinion does not supersede the facts. But right now, I'm going to leave this episode of The Outer Worlds Murder on Aerodonos off here. Fun little DLC. I'm loving it so much different than the rest of the game. Um, I'm probably going to get it. I think I'm going to try my best to keep... Murder on Aerodonos on the Thursday time slot for the time being. Simply because it's so much fun. I'm, I'm really, 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 really enjoying this game and enjoying doing all of this. It's fun. It's amazing. And it's fun and amazing. I don't know what better way to put it. I love this game. 
and I'm loving this DLC and it makes me so excited for the Outer Worlds 2 and whatever DLCs are going to come of that because I hope they give us so many rights on the fucking unicorn. I hope they give us so, so many more DLCs from it. Either way, right now, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Outer Worlds Murder on Arrow Dawn. If you did, there's a place down in the description where you can watch all past and future episodes of the DLC. As well, down in the description, there will be a playlist for my Outer Worlds playthrough if you want to check that out. Uh, other than that, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, all that good stuff. Other than that, be good, be well, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye. God, that was messy. <laughs> Covering you! Uh.